I didn't realize that what I was doing actually changed the face of makeup and the course of the beauty industry. And that's pretty cool to look back, you know, and think that. And, you know, if I ever get back into the beauty industry, I plan on doing it again in a very different way. I've been in love with makeup since I was a little kid. I used to watch my mom do her makeup. And I used to actually do makeup on myself when I was in high school. And I never wanted anyone to know I was wearing makeup. I just wanted to look prettier. So I, that's how I started. And after two different colleges and telling my mom I wanted to drop out, she basically said to me, what would I want to do? If it was my birthday, I could do anything I wanted. And all I could think of was go to Marshall Fields and play with makeup. She said, why don't you go to college and study makeup? There was not a program, but I found Emerson College and I studied theatrical makeup. I created my own degree, which now they're calling entrepreneurial. The secret sauce is just knowing what you love, taking chances, and I love doing things that I don't know anything about, but just doing it something different. I moved to New York and I opened up the Yellow Pages and started calling modeling agencies and photographers and just showed my book and eventually someone took a chance and hired me and I fell in love with fashion so I started working as a makeup artist for photographers and models on fashion shows, magazines. It was the 80s and the makeup was white skin, red lips, contoured cheeks and I just didn't think it was pretty. I'd always have to mix all my makeup in my kit when I would be on shoots because you couldn't buy makeup that looked natural. And one day I met a chemist and I told him about this idea I had to make a lipstick that was the color of my lips. And that was the start of it. It was really radical. And, and a very famous makeup artist said to me, this makeup isn't gonna work. If you really wanna stay in the industry, you better stop doing the natural, healthy makeup. But he was wrong. So from that first lipstick, I decided that I really needed 10. And I don't know why I picked 10, but I started to kind of think about all the different women I knew and from different countries, you know, models, babysitters, friends. And I looked at everyone's lips and I made a collection and I started selling them out of my house to friends, to models. I just so happened to meet this nice woman and I asked her what she did and she told me she was a cosmetics buyer at Bergdorf Goodman. I told her about my new idea for a line and she said, all right, let's take it. One of the many reasons we sold was we knew that with our lack of experience, you know, we, to align with partners that knew how to grow a cosmetics business, you know, the things we don't know was, you know, was everything. That was a, certainly one of those moments where you realize, oh my God, I did this. But I'm also the kind of person I never, I never rest on my laurels and I never stop and think, wow, this is so cool. I'm, I'm always on to the next. So my job was to figure out how can I keep the company exactly how I wanted it. Even after someone else bought it, I'd go to work thinking it's mine. So that's why I stayed so long. That's why I was probably difficult because I cared about every little detail, things that probably big corporations don't care about. I cared about the people, I cared about, you know, every little detail. I do what I'm really good at. And one of the things for me as a businesswoman, I know what I'm not good at, but I like to have people around me that are. It's making your own rules. So making your own rules is just doing what you think is right and trying to do things different. And being, that's what being an entrepreneur is, reinventing. Mickey Drexler was probably, is probably the guy that taught me the most because I think I struggled a little bit when I was, you know, part of a corporation. If I should act a certain way, you know, do I act this way or do I act myself? And Mickey kind of gave me permission to be myself. I always really believe that it's about being who you are, but making yourself not even better, but just being your best self. Now I look back and, and I call them the magic years and the people that worked with me, we were a family. It was, it was like nothing you've ever seen. But towards the end, I would say the last, you know, two to four years were pretty rough. Um, but I think the last, the last year was, was really tough. And that's when, you know, I had an idea of what I thought the company, the direction it should go in and some other people had other thoughts. And it was time for me to leave because I just didn't want to fight anymore. And you know what? 
I knew that I wanted to be the boss again. And I wanted to do something completely different and be in the new world, because there's a whole new world happening in retail. Let me just say I'm very happy that we sold the company and I'm happy that we sold the name. You know, is it weird that I walk around and people still stop me and tell me, you know, different things and I always have to say I'm no longer with the company? It's a little weird, but many founders have left companies with their names and, you know, it's just the way it is. I'm still Bobby Brown, it's my name, I can't help it. Most of the time when I think something's gonna work, it does. If I don't know it's not gonna work, I might change direction. So whatever I'm doing at the time, I feel confident that what I'm doing is right, but if it's not working, I might be shifting a little bit to do something different. You know, it's easy to say I probably should have left a couple years before I did, but you know, then I think about all the great things that I did the last year or two that were, you know, that were worth it. So no, I have no regrets and all the tough times now I could look back and say, if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be who I am today. Which is exciting about starting a new company, knowing everything I know from before.